Welcome ladies and gentlemen, dogs and cats, elephants and zebras. This goes out to Shelly because of a video she shared. Um, you know what, with this program I cannot tell what the volume is. So hopefully you can hear me. So anyway, I shared the video. This this cop was working with it with a dog, training a dog, and the dog <laughs> found something. The cop goes to look, and it's a freaking snake. Hey, okay, I've lived everywhere, so to speak. Um, two places that I've lived where there were a lot of snakes. Okinawa. We had the habu. You were talking about a deadly snake, and it was everywhere. I mean, they had habu everywhere. I want to get some habu sake, because that's where they actually put a habu snake in the sake. But it's Okinawan sake. It's not Japanese sake. But anyway, so the story I wanted to tell you about was in high school. So I was a teenager. Um, this is down near Victoria, Texas, about halfway between Victoria and Goliad, Texas, uh, just to the south of Coletta Creek. I actually said creek instead of creek. Pretty good. So I'm walking through the woods, and in mid stride, something must have, I, the rattle must have been going on because I don't remember hearing anything, but for some reason, in mid-stride, I look down. Right between my legs is a rattlesnake, all curled up. But I looked at his eyes. His eyes were like red, you know, like they had cataracts on them. He didn't strike, but they, they, they sense heat. So he didn't need to be able to see me necessarily. But what was I going to do? What was I going to do? I was in mid-stride. I mean, I couldn't, you know, back then I was involved with a lot of different, I did weightlifting, I did uh, track and field, well, I did track, I didn't do field. Um, you know, so, I mean, I was physically pretty well off. I mean, I'm not today, but I was then. You know, and then in, in my... 20s and 30s and maybe early 40s, I did rock climbing and backpacking and, uh, you know, I, I did archery. I'm a shooter, so, you know, I, I, I go out and do that. I did that back then, too. Horseback riding, I mean, I did a lot of things. But, um, <laughs> you know, I, now snakes don't bother me, but I was scared of them on Okinawa, and in Texas, I was scared of them, but we had, had rattlers, we had water moccasins, cottonmouth, uh, what's that one, it's really deadly, uh, but you're not likely to get bit because they have to get like uh, a small soft space like between your fingers or between your toes, um, coral snakes, we had a lot of those in Texas. Uh, they're not very big, but they pack a powerful punch. But yeah, I just want to tell you about that, you know, in mid-stride. And what was I going to do? Like I said, I just had to keep walking. There wasn't much more I could do.